Hello, children! My name is Ilir2, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Victoria 2 with the Russian Empire. Yes, we are back again! And in this episode, I think we're going to try and start conquering some things. Now, we do have these little provinces over here that don't take much to colonize. So I can colonize those and begin taking over, say, the Kalkin Khanet and the Kivan and the Kiva Khanet. And start taking more of the Middle East. And what my plans are for this series is to take over a lot of the Middle East over here. And over here. And possibly push into Germany to make sure that they never actually form. That would be really good for us. Um, also the Ottoman Empire. Probably want to break them up. Take over their little lands over here. And the Balkans? Yeah, this is the Baltics. These are Balkans. Alright. So, let us uh, begin. Now, our economy is kind of crap right now, kind of, meaning uh, really crap. Um, we're relying mostly on tariffs, and we can't really afford much education. Uh, that really sucks. We don't even, we can't even fund our own navy. Which costs way too much, because it's just, God. Like, seriously, I don't know why Russia even has a navy. We're not a naval nation. There's no point in it. This is going to bring up, oh. No, more states in Kamchatka and Russian Kuchukotka. Well, that's weird. Weird names. I cannot speak Russian, by the way. I am a dirty American. El Salvadorian Thaw. Yay, El, El Salvadoria. <laughs> El Salvadoria. Alright. Um, now, I think we're going to do medicine. Because this can give us... Where is it? Malaria. Yeah, okay, that, that's minimum life rating negative 5%. And that'll let us colonize here. Yep, that's what I want. And we do have a bonus to, to industry, just by a little bit. It'll take us four years. Oh, that is horrible. All right, so the the Oriental Crisis. The Russian diplomats, Russian diplomats have been watching the crisis develop in the Orient for some time. And now that the Ottomans and Egyptians are at war, it has become clear that the empire's hold over its dominion is crumbling. Should the Egyptian, Egyptians successfully challenge Ottoman rule, it could upset the entire ba uh, balance of power in the region. Something that, may fe that many feel would threaten Russian interests. Still, others believe that the Russian empire must remain neutral despite uh, the loss of relations with the empire. Okay, we could not do it, lose prestige, and we'll end the alliance with the Ottomans. Or we could support them and gain influence with the Egyptians, and we can liberate country Kasbelia on Egypt, in, on Egypt. Declare war on Egypt. The Ottoman Empire gets the Russian Empire, supports the uh, Empire event. All countries that are the Ottoman Empire and have the country flag support the Egyptians will get the Russian Empire demands withdrawal event. So, wait. We liberate a country in Egypt? Oh, looks like the Ottoman Empire is going to take care of this easily. But, I suppose I could support it. Sure. So, what is this? Requ requires all the states with the core provinces. Ottoman Empire. Oh, the Ottoman Empire requires all states with cores. So that's like all this land. Oh, so I'm just giving it to the Ottomans. That was a stupid idea. Whatever. They, they were going to win anyways. They have a ton of troops. We'll just let them fight this one out. Or do I have to? Yeah, I guess I have to for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let us invade then. Go over to, uh... Cairo. Oh, it's called Cairo now. I thought it was Gaza. W was it Gaza originally? I think it was. And now it's Giza next to it. So wait, Gaza and Giza? I don't know. There are a lot of little tiny countries here. They're, um, yeah, puppets of the Ottomans, right? Now, I do want the Ottoman Empire to fall, however, you know, they're still my allies. I want them to be powerful. I'm just marching straight over to, to freaking Cairo. They're not doing anything. Alright. Well, then, just take over Cairo. 
Yeah, this is gonna be easily one. We're at zero percent simply because we've been helping out the uh, his massive alliance, which which sucks. I don't know why this isn't in the same war. Like it should be. Like if we're intervening. Wait, so if they win. Yeah, if they win, then it will become a puppet, and then I'll be at war with the puppet. Which means this war is going to do nothing. So why am I here? <laughs> I really do not understand. Oh, now they're at war with the UK. End of the Oriental Crisis. Make peace. We did what we want to do. Any province as the Ottoman core will cede province to the Ottoman Empire. We will continue, uh, whoa. We will continue as we are. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, that does nothing. Well, the Ottoman Empire is much bigger and, well, we can't take over pieces of their province now. Whatever. That was a complete waste of time. But, hey. We helped out our ally, made them a little bigger. Good for you, Ottomans. Good for you. You're no longer a great power. Oh, of course. And you're allied with Austria. I have no great power allies. I'm so alone. This actually is pretty sad. Now, over here, what does it take? Okay, this this will... Sakhalim will take... 50, 50, 15. It takes 15%. So that's going to be a while before we can get that. Who was this? Krusk. Alright, so Kazan. Kursk. Switch out. We're still at only 33%. We probably start funding things now. Yeah. Moralism. Lose militancy. Stop taxing the upper class because we need to start building some industries soon. In fact... Let's start with that in uh, Moscow. Come on, give me some capitalists. Give me one. One capitalist will be enough. Just one. Just one capitalist. Never mind. Okay. Oh, that was a complete waste of time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I can't support capitalists. Or at least, I can support capitalists. It just will be a while before anything will happen. Who, who wants war? Botan. Botan is rebelled? Yeah, they, they're at war with Ottomans. Well, this is stupid. Oh, they unified. Well, um... Sure. You can go through my lands. I don't know how that would help. Since they're far more superior to you. Now, what's this war over? Is that a revolution, I'm assuming? The Botan... No, the Ottoman liberation of Botani Van. Oh, they're just taking over everything. Yeah. All but one state. Oh, Ottoman Empire. I may want to play as them uh, soon. They, they seem like a cool playthrough. You can take over the uh, Middle East, push into Persia, that sort of thing. Try and fight... To stay as a great power, that'd be pretty cool. Sure, Ottomans, you are you are our our allies, so I suppose I have to let you through. Now, Prussia, you are dangerously close to becoming uh, Germany, or at least North Germany. And I don't want that to happen. Oh wait, you actually? Oh, they have taken over Schleswig-Holstein. So I may want to push into um, Prussia soon. They only have 51 troops. I only have 78. They probably have a much better army tech, don't they? Yep, six. Well, I mean, it's not much better, but that's one more. Still better than me. Um, I can see why Russia never becomes super powerful, at least in the beginning of the game. Because they really don't have much to work with. Our bureaucrats suck. If we can have 100% bureaucratic uh, administrative efficiency, we could be getting so much from taxes and tariffs. But right now, we just need to—we just need to 
We just need to, you know, wait it out. After this, I'll get some intellectuals so we can start actually researching stuff for once. Oh, wow. Is this how Yemen always is? I guess it is. That's sad. Yeah, Ethiopia is always like this as well. How's the U.S.? So this is what the U.S. looks like. Empire of Mexico, it usually happens. Uh, USCA is falling apart. Ah, oh, the Spanish want an alliance. Are you a great power again? Yes, you can. Yes, you are. Um. Wait, what? Why are we at negative 48? That's stupid. All right, Spain, let's be allies. All right, F you, Ottomans. Never liked you anyways. I supported you. All right, so the UK... Whoa, 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 whoa. They're allied with both the Ottomans and the UK? Those are two great powers. That's stupid. I hate that. Speaking of hating, how are they? Yeah, they're they're trying to get some of my lands, son. Some of my some of my spheres. I do not like this. Ashanti, who's Ashanti? Someone over here? No idea. Oh wow, this place is broken up as well. I never actually noticed how broken up some of these places were. Yeah. How's Alaska, huh? Current ratio. I want to make it a state soon. So I can never sell it to the Americans. Another uh, land taken. Huzzah. Siberian miners. Plenty of Siberians over here. What are all these? Yakut? Ugrian? Uh, Kazakhstani over here. Or Kazakh, I suppose. You know, Istan means uh, land of. So when you say like Kazakhstan, you mean land of the Kazakhs. My right, tensions. Oh, excellent. Yay, less militancy. How is militancy right now? Uh, just a bunch of nationalists. We never get the liberal reform. So reforming our nation's going to be a very hard... Or I suppose we're just going to be an absolute monarchy until the communists come in, which I will form the glorious USSR. And take over the world that way. Of course I will. Jeez, so many people need to be bureaucrats. Well, like, yeah. Uh, let's decrease opinion of them over in these places. Yeah, they're now cordial. And now cordial. Even though they're their um, substates. Which, which, which makes absolutely no sense. Medicine's about to be finished. And with that... Should we go with culture? Maybe, yeah. Ideological thought is probably going to help us a lot. So we can start getting some more out there. You know, more uh, bureaucrats out there. Still is going to take three years. Actually, more than three years. Which sucks so much. Dang it, Russia. Should have known. Should have known how stupid you are. No offense, no offense to Russians. <laughs> God. All right. You guys are really going to act like this, Ottomans? Fine. Leave. Wow, Prussia is sucking right now. Oh, minimum life rating. So that means colonize. Colonize. And... Oh, we can colonize here? I guess we can. Colonize! Yay! Colonization everywhere. Can't colonize down here yet, but, you know. Can we go up here? No, that's 10. Oof. Down here is, um... Yeah, that's 30. It's gonna take a long time. Let's do it before the Japanese can do it, so we can go into a conflict with them. You know, maybe that's why we need Navy. Oh, long work hours. Um, sure. I mean, wait, we don't even have any factories. We don't even have any capitalists, don't we? Yeah, zero capitalists. I wish we can get rid of all those serfs, because I feel like they could be doing a lot more. Like, just being farmers and stuff, you know? 
Russia again, another state. All right, done in Kazan. Yeah, just it's called Kazan, whatever. To Bryansk. Excellent. Getting a huge amount of population growth now. It's almost 2,000 more per 30 days. It's pretty good. Still trying to get to them? This is just sad, Ottomans. Just really sad. They're your own satellites. And yet they hate you. That's actually really... That really is actually sad. Alright, yeah, opposed. And neutral. Speaking of neutral, how is Switzerland? They're a secondary power. Wait. Oh, yeah, neutral. Wait, but they're in... Yeah, they're in the sphere of Prussia. That was really weird. Oh, crap! Did they... They took over Osses Lorraine already! Oh, wow! When were they at war? Oh. Circassian Rebellion! The Circassians have rose up against seizing several cities and declaring an open rebellion with the intent of shaking off Russian rule. They are too troublesome to keep fighting. Let them be free. Ha! <laughs> nope. Running province that is not a Russian core and is Circassian core. And the major population... <sighs> Sorry, early morning. And the major population is Circassian. We'll cede all provinces to Circassia and we'll go to war. Moralist resurgence. That is amazing. I do not care. Uh, yeah, spread the word or rejoice. Uh, spread the word. All right, Zetsu. Amonsk. Oh, did we not colonize? I thought we did colonize there. Whatever. Create protectorates. So they are already. All right. Well, that was a stupid idea, Circassia. You are now going to die. You're still uncivilized, which I don't see how any of that would help. So yeah, congratulations. You are no longer a nation ever. I don't see why this is e even a thing. Like I guess it's historically correct, but it's just a waste of time to me. They would accept. All right, there you go. And now we can integrate up. I'm just gonna nuz. Is it this little nation? Yeah, it is. What do we need for it? No, oh, so second Circassian war is over. Huzzah! Now, what about Transylvania? Oh god, there's more stuff. The Polish question: Circassian diaspora. Finally, Russia at peace. Try to stop the collateral damage. We recognize their struggle. Any problems at a Circassian core? Will any problems at uh, Highlander raids? So they'll get Highlander raids for ten years. Or all pops in where culture Circassian will. Gain nine militancy, or this. Gain one infamy, and all the pops in the Russian Empire wear all the following. All of the below, one of the following must be true. Culture is Circassian, or culture is Chechen, and Circassia's core will gain nine militancy. One of the four options will happen. Wow. That's huge. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right. So the Polish question. A Polish revolution on Krakow and... A uh, Polish re revolution began on Krakow and it threatens to spread like wildfire in our great nation. Austria is asking our consent to suppress Krakow, arguing the free city is the focus of the Polish nationality. An insurgency that is suppressing the city can end future Polish rebellions. Our diplomats are worried that this rebellion may grow if we don't support the Austrians. What do we tell the Austrian envoy? We do not support the Austrians. Or we do. Sure, take it over. I do not want the Polish rising up against me. And we got a factory in uh, Russian Georgia. Georgia, sweet Georgia. Right, and they're still opposed, still trying to get them in our in their side. Any revolutions? Nope. Still Circassia. Rebellions happening. It's pretty sad, actually. Like, really. We're not going to get any rebellions. And we're still number two. France, what the heck? Or actually, Austria. Austria? France, what's wrong? Oh my god. This world is weird. Austria is number three. Prussia has taken over Alsace-Lorraine already. 
France has fallen apart. Sorry if you hear scratching. I'm trying to scratch my ear. Yeah, screw you, Vertenberg. Who are you at war with? You're not at war with anyone. Oh, well, that was over. Before it even began. Congratulations, Austria. You now have taken over a single state. Filled with Polish people. Of course, we have the most Polish people. Which is dangerous. I do not want to lose Poland. Oh. And there we go. Final protectorate over. Now let's start taking over these little nations. I obviously do want them. They are extremely, extremely important to my, you know, nation for reasons. So can I take them over immediately? The Great Game. What is this? The great game between the Russian and the British Empire demands that all uncivilized nations in Central a uh, Asia be turned into puppets to prevent the other from doing the same. Oh. That's interesting. One of the following must be true. They are Sindh, Kalat, Makran, Afghanistan, Kashmir, Chile. Chile. Chile? Konkan Khanet, Kiva Khanet, Bukhara... Bukhara Emirate, Chitral, Kazakh Khanet, or they are the Sikh Empire and they have the country Ranjit Singh dead. The UK has to be a great power and the Russian Empire has to be a great power. This either is the Russian, uh, UK, uh, whatever. You know what I mean. Sure, let's do that. So I guess we can't take them over, but we can puppet them, which is interesting. Can we do that to everyone else? Uh, I'm assuming I can, which is good too. Puppets are good. You get another people in your sphere. You get more puppets. Hey. It's cool. It's all good. Alright, let's start turning down our tariffs. Say 50%. Are we going to start losing money at that point? We are not. We're right on the edge. And we can actually start... Probably start an economy. Probably. I right, get 3.2 infamy. Doesn't matter. That'll burn away very soon. How long does that take? Not that long. Bone Sultanate Free Trade. One of our traders was turned away from the port of any in any province some time ago. Apparently, he was discovered by local customs official trying to smuggle opium despite the Sulawesian ban on opium imports. A liberal politician in our lower house has addressed this matter. The right in trade the right to trade freely and openly across the seas and on the land is one of the unalienable, unalienable rights of mankind. Our rights have been denied by the Bone Sultanate. What's the Bone Sultanate? And I, for one, wonder how long the government will stand for these slights at the hand of uncivilized heathens. Free trade is fair trade. Okay, where the, where the hell is the Bone Sultanate? Oh, over here. It's Bonne. Okay. And the Russian Empire. Oh, the Russian Opium War. But that won't happen, because I don't give a crap. Right. I mean, I really don't, because I can't even get over there, man. I don't even have any boats. I'm just going to ignore that. I'm just going to lose prestige. Just take it up the butt, I guess. There's no point in it. Right, the Kiva Khanet, almost ready to be puppeted. Puppeted. That's a word. All right, the great game remains a possibility. It is not our, in our interests or never bring this up again. Advisors to the Russian government are warning that the British will continue their northward expansion if we do not press south. Russia will soon have its southern borders exposed to European invasion. It does us no good to allow the British complete hegemony. <sighs> Sorry, early morning. Hegemony over Central Asia. Something must be done. It remains a possibility. Oh, come on. I was already fabricating them. Fine. It's already over. Cancel that. But, you know what? This is where I'm going to end this episode. Yes, it's only about 25 minutes long. But, I again, I'm trying to cut them down a little bit. 
So anyways, in the next episode, we should probably start playing the great game on these little nations like Kiva, Kokka, and Bukhara, Afghanistan. Start pushing down south to make sure the dirty British don't take over our lands. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.